James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today's June 29th, 2023, 5.30 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. During World War II, the Allies were worried about radio signals during offenses. So they had one of the RCA research scientists named John Nielsen look in to see if he could predict these radio alternations or lack of radio use. And this is what he came up with. Now, it's not accepted by mainstream science yet, but I will say his predictions are absolutely incredible percentage-wise. What John Nielsen came up with is the positions of the planets, and then later he looked at the supergas giants, have a big impact on solar activity. Let's take a look at some of his predictions. He was looking into shortwave radio communications across the North Atlantic. He discovered an apparent tendency for days of disturbed radio propagation to coincide with the dates when any pair of the planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, or Saturn, arrive at relative heliocentric angles of 0, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, or 270 degrees. Over the years, Nelson extended his work to include planets beyond Saturn and has applied his correlations to the problem of predicting times of poor conditions for shortwave communications based on solar activity. He can predict solar flares or could predict solar flares, but they weren't having it. Nelson has claimed high reliability from his method of predicting propagation conditions of nearly 1,500 forecasts made in 1967, 93.2% are said to have been within one point of the observed quality on a six-point rating scale. Apparently, he relies on known periodicities and conventional effects as well as planetary configurations for these predictions. Mr. Nielsen concluded that the planets disturb our sun, and the sun in turn affects electromagnetic conditions on Earth. From daily plots of the courses of the six inner planets, he observed that disturbances on the Earth occur more frequently when two or more of the planets form a right angle with the sun at the apex, or form a straight line with the sun. That means on one side or both sides. The most disturbed periods are the 12 months preceding and following the positioning of Saturn and Jupiter in such a configuration. The most severe disturbances occur when Mars, Venus, Mercury, and Earth are in critical relationship near points of the Saturn-Jupiter configuration. When Saturn and Jupiter have moved away from their configuration, the Earth's magnetic activity decreases. Although the smaller planets also cause storms of shorter duration, the quietest periods occur when Saturn, Jupiter, and Mars are equally spaced around the Sun by 120 degrees each. The figure shows the position of the planets during the great 1946 magnetic storm. Major disturbances can be predicted as much as two years in advance by combining planetary observations with daily inspections of the sun's surface. Mr. Nielsen has been able to predict good and bad racial weather with over an 85% accuracy or better. Some say 95%. The most severe disturbances occur when Mars, Venus, Mercury, and the Earth are in critical relationships near points of the Saturn-Jupiter configuration. When two or more planets are at the right angles to each other or in line on the same side of the Sun or in line with the Sun between them, magnetic disturbances, i.e. solar flares and CMEs, occur much more frequently. When the planets have moved away from their critical relationship, 
there is a corresponding decline in the severity of the magnetic weather. Again, ladies and gentlemen, this was Mr. John Nielsen. He worked for RCA, and he did this work for the United States government and the U.S. military. It's been hidden and crushed. I don't know if he's right or wrong, but again, ever since that, people have been watching his work, and many claim that he's been up to 95% correct with these configurations. So, he's 90 degree, and, well, 180 degree, and for some reason, 270 degree configurations cause the most disturbances. And I think we've seen that, and I've called that out in most every space weather update that we have actually done over the last couple of years. Although this theory has been attempted to be discredited, the percentages speak for themselves. And we know the government and military have been using this model and these models to predict solar activity and radio automation here on Earth since World War II. Now again, this is theory, but again, 85 to 95 percent accurate, and that's through present day, according to many studies. Like I said, the planets have a big effect on our sun. God bless you and yours. Share and subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.